Hello everyone, this is Brad McMahon with Trader Trading Headquarters. You are watching our free educational video series for traders and investors. All we ask in return is that if you like the video, like it, and if you really like it, share it with a friend. Ascending triangles are generally considered bullish and are most reliable when found in an uptrend. Now the top part of the triangle appears to be flat, while the bottom part of the triangle has an upward slant. In ascending triangles, the market is becoming overbought and prices are turned back. Buyers then re-enter the market and prices soon reach their old highs, where they are once again turned back. Buyers come back, but this time they are able to push the price higher. Prices eventually break through the old highs and are propelled even higher as new buyers come in. Now breakouts usually occur on above average volume. Let's take a look at Nike Corporation. So what you want to notice here is there is a prior uptrend. And then we have this horizontal line. And you'll see we should have at least two reaction points. And we have a reaction point here, a reaction point here, and here. Now the highs do not have to be exact, but they should be within a reasonable proximity of each other. There should be some distance between the highs and the lows. Now we also have a lower ascending trend line, and that should have at least two reaction lows, which are required to form a lower ascending trend line. These reaction lows should be trending higher, making higher lows. There should also be some distance between the lows and the highs. So as you can see here in Nike, we've got a flat base, which is showing resistance. We have some reaction lines touching, and then we have an ascending line below forming our ascending triangle. And we have two reaction points touching here and here. Now the length of the pattern can range from just a few weeks to many months, but the average is about one to three months. Here on Facebook, you can see that it's about one month two months. And we also want to look at the volume. As the pattern develops, volume usually contracts. When the upside breakout occurs, there should be an expansion of volume to confirm the breakout. While volume confirmation is preferred, it's not always necessary. Another important thing in technical analysis is that resistance turns into support. As you can see here in WBA, once we broke out, our resistance turned into support and we had a pullback and then the stock took off again. So you may have noticed these uh, target points and a target point is basically an expected move. So once the breakout has occurred, the price projection is found by measuring the widest distance of the pattern and applying it to the resistance of the breakout. So on WBA, you can see we have a distance of about 15%, which is about four points. And if we add that here to the resistance, which now is support, we can tack on that four points. And you can see we almost made it here, but if we, if we kept in the stock, we, we eventually got there. Let's go back to Facebook. You can see that the distance of the base of the triangle is 9.46, which is about 17%. And if we add 17% onto here, we were going to be stopped out around the $75 range. Going back to Nike, same thing, 10% move here. Add that to the expected move once we break out of the resistance, and we should expect about a 2.4, $2.40 move. So this is the ascending triangle. Thanks for watching the video. If you like this video and would like to learn more about stock charts and patterns, visit our website at tradertraininghq.com. Here you will find lots of information on trading the markets. Go to our training tab and you'll find free courses, articles, trading view charts, watch lists, trade examples, books, and even a chat room. If you'd like to get a fill for our membership benefits, fill out this information here and create a password and you'll get access to more free lessons. 
The free lessons include simpler stock trading for beginners, candlestick patterns, chart patterns, free introduction videos, webinars, and a trading community where you can access all of our social media links. Please take a moment to read our disclaimer. The information provided herein is our opinions only. Under no circumstances do any statements here represent a recommendation to buy or sell securities or make any kind of investment. You are responsible for your own due diligence. To summarize, we do not provide investment advice, nor do we make any claims or promises that any information here will lead to a profit, loss, or any other result. These videos are for educational purposes only.